Welcome to my Big IP LTM training series. My name is Trevor. As we discussed in the last video, the local traffic manager maintains its server-side and client-side connections in its connection table. Each connection entry uses system resources while the LTM has to monitor its connection status. The connection table can't grow too large, otherwise it'll consume all of the Big IP's system resources and immobilize the platform. Some connections tear down and remove themselves from the connection table automatically, since that's the default nature of how the protocol operates. However, some protocols do not. UDP connections, for example, do not have a connection close sequence such as TCP connections, so the LTM must rely on the idle timeouts. This is where connection reaping comes into play. The local traffic manager performs connection reaping on connection entries that have been determined to be inactive by the idle timers. This helps to ensure that the LTM only uses its system resources on active, healthy connections that the environment is depending on. The LTM allows you to modify various idle timeout settings to influence how proactive connection reaping occurs on the platform. It's important to remember that depending on the connection, sometimes multiple idle timeouts apply. The application running on the servers is the deciding factor on how aggressive or passive your idle timeouts should be set. Make sure you click on the link in the description below to see the entire Big IP LTM training series playlist. Thanks for watching.